Hey, hey, welcome to another Make a Monday. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright, I have to show everybody this. I literally just found James Rambo. So, sir. Thank you for all the duty you did. And thank you for allowing me the freedom that I have now. I hope you're resting in peace. So this video is going to be a little different than the rest. Uh, I'm kind of going to put a time lapse up on while I'm putting uh, flowers on graves. I don't really want to show too many graves. Uh, I'm going to show one grave and that's my Uncle Smitty. I guess he's my grand Uncle Smitty. And I'm going to show him because he was a veteran and he's part of my family. But I don't want to show anybody else's graves like family wise. I, I don't know how people react to that. John H. Turner. Thank you. I wish I could do more for you guys than just say thanks. Because I know you did a lot for me. William H. Jordan. You had a very long life. What is it? 87 years old? Thank you for everything you did. And he died, well, no, he must have died in 84. And did you say uh, Martha? Yes, but then she's buried on top of him, but I don't know. Is that him? I found him. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. Was that close to where I told you, the third row? Uh, no, I think they might have changed it now. He's in the 12th ro row, and he's the 31st gravestone. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, well, you got the right one. Yep. That's all that matters. Right, and just give him a little prayer for me, will you? I will do. Okay, well, thank you, Cor. Thank you, Pop. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. So, I found my grand uncle and his wife. So they are going to get an entire bouquet. I don't know if I just put the flowers in here. So that's what I'm going to do for now. Until someone comes and tells me I messed up. William Smith. Thank you for everything you went through, and everything you've done, and everything you sacrificed. He was 63 years old, and from how my grandfather talks about him, he was a very good man. I thank you very much for everything that you've done. Now, like, just, like, thinking about it, you know, it's making me a little teary-eyed, and, like, I didn't really even know him, because... Well, I didn't know him at all. He died before I was even born. But just knowing everything that he did for me. He was in the Air Force before there was even an Air Force. He was in the Army Division of the Air Force. And I'm just, I feel really good just being here. And knowing that I was able to come and see him. And thank him for the, what he's done. Now for the rest, there's a couple over here with actual flower holders. I'm just actually going to give them flowers. And say a little thanks. Let me clean off his gravestone. Robert Mooberry. Thank you for everything you've done. Joseph Slavinsky, thank you, and I hope you're resting well. Wow. 
Wow, Roland E. Bauer. <laughs> you were born in 1930. Thank you for everything you did. You fought in Korea. You helped out a lot of people. Now I said, I know I said in the vi in the beginning of this video that I wasn't really going to show their graves, but now looking at it, you know, a lot of them have been dead for a while, and they deserve this recognition. So I'm going to. And I hope if you guys get a second or two of your time, you wouldn't mind going to a veteran cemetery and just saying thanks for everything that they've done for us.